Negrano's loving life right now on the button with this hand. He's really thinking about it. He's confused with this 5x open out of Shlomi. But he makes the call. Both blinds will fold. So three players will see a flop. No six for Bonyardi, but a nine high flop could get Daniel in trouble here. Daniel looked a big speculative pre-flop, and now he's picked up top pair. He might get in trouble. Shlomi continues. He's made it 15-25. It's a pot-sized bet. No slow playing for Shlomi. 5x pre-flop, pot on the flop. Daniel's still not convinced. He wants to call, but should he call? Daniel has a tough time folding pairs, and this is top pair. He should probably fold, but I don't see it happening. He does make the call. A big pot is brewing. No real threat out there to Shlomi's kings. Shlomi can't be too concerned about this turn card. 21-25. This time he decides to make it a little bit cheaper for Negrano. He went full pot on the flop, right around half pot on the turn. Surely this is where Daniel lets it go. Uh, Daniel is trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together. And he makes the call. He's not entirely convinced yet. Again, this river really doesn't change much. The only hand this helps is 6-7 or 8-9. And Shlomi only fires out a third pot on this river. He gives Negrano a fair price to make this call. He's getting 4-1 to one on his money. Well, let's see if Daniel can get away from this. Daniel is determined Angel Small River Bet is a value hand that Kid Poker can't beat. Although it's hard for him to rep a hand, he's bumping it up. Yeah, aces or kings? Can I say that or is that illegal? Heads up. I can say what he has but not what I have. Okay. I'm thinking aces or kings. <laughs> you think right. Daniel really pulled the trigger correctly on that one. And Shlomi's now thinking... If you've read me for Ace or Kings, surely you can beat Ace or Kings. I have to fold. Ace or Kings was good, right? Of course.